We're back, everybody, with more Coerce the People. <clears throat> I will get answers. You shall. <laughs> Demonos. Break your foe. Explore your foe's weak points and break them to course information out of them. The attempt will fail if I get incapacitated. Where was I? Are you <laughs> ah. Oh dear. Holy God. Make the darkness. Oh damn, I'm getting clobbered. This isn't good. I won't be here. Where was I? You won't be Oh dear. You won't be Very well. You won't be Oh dear. Zap. <laughs> Mystic beaten sticks pretty good. <laughs> a young man working for a local group of bandits, though he is considering leaving so he can settle down with his beloved. Seeing repentance as the first step toward life he wishes to lead, he visits the cathedral nightly to pray. Alas, no amount of prayers will help free him from his collar. It would seem this person has no useful information. Okay. Time for some questioning. <laughs> Break your foe Very for well. information. You won't oh damn it. Ow. Oh damn it. Fall. I just got clobbed. And then down he goes. So it goes. Oh, it goes. In the mind's eye, I get my ass beat. <laughs> I will. <laughs> oh, dear. Holy God. Illuminate the darkness. Ah! Oh, come on. <laughs> okay, he's good. He's good. Why is he so damn so good? It goes. <laughs> All right, can't get the information out of him yet. <clears throat> Time for some questions. What about our resident <laughs> historian? Very well. You, right, you got anything for me, Mr. History? Ha. A historian from Montwise who mostly studies the order of Sacred Flames history. The cathedral is said to contain extremely valuable books such as journals of past pontiffs with all their inner thoughts laid bare. Not even the vast library of Montwise holds such intimate insights. Hmm. Very useful, except not really all that useful. Time for some questions. <laughs> Where was I? Are you all <laughs> Very well. book lover whose lust for the Order's luxurious library drove her to study hard and become a cleric. She was overjoyed when she was assigned to that very library, though it should be noted that she loves the feel and smell of old books more than the words contained therein. Ain't nothing wrong with that. <clears throat> Vados, the architect. I will. <laughs> Where was I? 
you won't get any money. Okay. Yeah. Hold it on. Eliminate the darkness. Where was I? Hold it on. Eliminate the darkness. <laughs> an architect and religious zealot involved with the cathedral of Paris two years prior. He built an underground passage leading to the cathedral's interior to grant his crew free access during the repairs. Said passage remains accessible via a small building to the cathedral's east. Oh, the smaller building east of the cathedral hides a subterranean passage no longer in use. Indeed. Blessings of the sacred flame unto you, Vados, for this gift. <laughs> I see, I see. I must say, I did not expect to be heading underground. The path is open, Crick. The path? Which you forcibly opened, despite being a messenger of the gods. And the gods did give their messengers flame to light the way forward. I did as the scriptures bade, Crick. I used the flame vested in me to open the way forward. I think Crick's gonna turn Forgive into an insurgent. Sins, oh gods. My goodness. Those of your ilk must lead an exhausting life. And how is it that people of your ilk get chosen to serve on the Inquisition? Because I get shit done. The pontiff chooses us. It's quite simple, really. Hmm. <clears throat> the sacred flame flickers. This is an ill omen. What? I am overcome with unease. Nevertheless, we press on. <clears throat> oh. Yeah, I, I just feel like Crick is going to probably turn into an insurgent by meeting with Temenos. <laughs> because Temenos isn't exactly the model clergyman. Add most of your party at night and turn the tides of battle in your favor. To battle! Oh dear. You won't me. I'm not well. It's a knight's duty to fight. Loot! I see a nice ornate chest over there. To battle! I'll play you in I did it! Are you, you most right certainly did, Crick. Alright, 24 more to go. Here, get this fancy box. Fancy box! Full of something that's not as good as what I have. Okay. 
All right, we got Temenos next job skill. it'll be Pontiff George that's leading the current Inquisition. That'd be kind of cool. Or not the Inquisition. Not the Inquisition, the Insurgents. Well, friggin' if need be, I can always go back and grind very easily, in fact. Oh, that ain't good. Oh, this, the beautiful stained glass window. <sighs> Your holiness. Please, no. He's dead. world <clears throat> what's happening temenos hell if i know the hell is that is that an arcane beast could it have shattered the window surely not Stand back, Temenos. I... I will protect you. I appreciate your courage, but I need not be sheltered from any and all danger. Temenos... Here it comes, Crick. To battle, Crick. To battle! <laughs> I see what you truly are. Where was I? Holding on. Illuminate the darkness. Help <laughs> clean you in <laughs> Very well. <laughs> Holding on. Illuminate the darkness. Oh dear. You won't. Where was I? You won't. Bombard. It's agitated. Will you cower behind me yet again, dear Crick? <laughs> you may as well get behind me if all you have to offer are cruel jokes. In the sacred name of the Thunderblade, I will smite this creature. Oh, you're the Thunderblade now. Well now, you may prove reliable yet. In which case, I had better do my part. Very well. Be here. <laughs> wham, wham, wham. To battle. I will protect you. You will not hurt my healer. To work. You won't. Very well. Repent. You won't. Work. 
holding on. Eliminate the darkness. <laughs> to battle! <laughs> yeah! Bravo, little lad. Repent. Holding Big on. damage. Eliminate the darkness. Very well. Holding on. Eliminate the darkness. Lower your foe's shield points with any attack regardless of their weakness. Where was I? Like, I don't really need to worry about that right now. Eliminate the darkness. <laughs> to work. Hold it up. Eliminate the darkness. Oh, he can't be broken then, huh? I wonder, actually. <laughs> if this. I will protect. Where was I? Here, for your sick. Now done. Okay, it does work. Uh, so he nullifies his weakness, but that'll still let me break his shield points when I hit it. Time to notice latent power is pretty good. Pretty good. But I want to know why the Inquisitor di or the Pontiff died. Hmm. Pontiff. Why? Why did this happen? And how? Steady yourself, Crick. We must keep our wits about us. <clears throat> Forgive me. Enormous claw marks down his back. The beast did this, without a doubt. He's yet warm. Or too late, but not by much. What a horrific accident. No, oh, this was no accident. An accident. You view life through a keyhole, Crick. How do you mean? <clears throat> a cathedral window, shattered. A massive beast, roaming within. The pontiff, slain. <sighs> Temenos. Hmm. Temenos? He's doing his thing. He told you about this before. The truth lies in the flame. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Terminus is a detective player now. the current scene, I believe this is roughly how things looked before the pontiff was slain. First... We must find out how the beast came to be here. It must have left a trace somewhere around here. Now, let us be led to the truth. Lingering scent of incense. <clears throat> Looks like someone burnt incense here. It smells of fool's poppy. A flower known to attract all manner of beasts, but especially those of the Varg family. In other words, it's no coincidence we found that foul creature here. It must have been lured to the cathedral. But by who and for what reason? Shattered cathedral windows. Shards of the cathedral window are scattered across the floor. But this window contains powerful wards that keep evil at bay. So how did it get through? Hmm. This shard has a bit of dirt on it as though it landed outside the cathedral. 
Hmm. Suppose it did land outside the cathedral. What does that mean? The window could have been broken from within, and the shards retroactively scattered inside. In which case, this was not the beast's doing, but the work of another. I see it now. The broad strokes of the scene have become apparent. Though, one thing still troubles me. The motive. Who would want to slay the pontiff? Toppled candlesticks. The four toppled candlesticks. These are never seen in the cathedral but for a few important ceremonies. So, why were they out tonight? In fact, the pontiff once told me that the flames of these candles represent the sacred flame itself. Hmm. <sighs> The gods, eager to seal their evil counterpart away, became as four sacred flames and settled into slumber. The truth lies in the flame. It's a recreation of the scripture. This is no mere coincidence. It was premeditated. Mm. <clears throat> yes, yes. I do believe I have it figured, Crick. Ah, Temenos. Welcome back. The fragments of the window, you see. If you look closely, they flex of dirt upon them. Which suggests it was broken from within, and the shards were scattered across the floor afterward. Add that to this censer, which contained the lingering scent of an incense known to lure all manner of monsters. Y you mean... Someone shattered the window and attracted the beast, which killed his holiness. And this is no accident, but a murder. Indeed. I am all but certain. Who... who would do such a thing? Indeed, that is the question. I believe we have a hint, however. Look. These candlesticks were carelessly toppled. You may suppose they were knocked aside when the pontiff was attacked. But these are only taken out for a handful of important ceremonies. So why were they out tonight and surrounding the altar, no less? The gods, eager to seal their evil counterpart away, became as four sacred flames and settled into slumber. That's a book of scripture! But why was it hidden away in the pulpit? The truth lies in the flame. I believe His Holiness sensed the impending danger and hid it for us to find hoping that someone would understand the significance of all this. There is something in this bit of scripture, a truth not yet uncovered. That will be all, Inquisitor Temenos. Sister Mint? No. The Sacred Guard will take over from here. Why are you here? We got word of a beast prowling the area. 
But I see we're too late. And I see the pontiff's been killed. <sighs> we will be asking for your statements later. Leave at once, and take nothing with you. Let us be off. Crick, I've something to ask of you. I need you to investigate something for me. Oh? And what might that be? I don't trust those sacred knights. Several days later. You know for the pontiff. <laughs> oh, gods above. Pontiff Yorg, father to our flock, was as the sacred flame onto us, scattering the shadows cast along our path. And we shall tell his story for generations to come. Your Holiness. This cannot be. The sacred flame itself wavers in sadness this day. We may never fully comprehend what we've lost. We meet again, deputy. I wanted to speak with you since you discovered the scene. Did you take note of anything unusual? Let me think. No, not a thing. We both know that's not true, Temenos. Reflect on what the dear pontiff would think of your lies. <clears throat> we, the Sacred Guard, are an independent investigative body within the Church. One that has long upheld order and peace within the Church's purview. The Pontiff set up the Inquisition so that he could participate in that process. But now he's gone. Perhaps it's time you got to proselytizing. Have you anything useful to say, or have you simply come to crow at me? Is it not the duty of the Sacred Guard to protect the Church's influential members? Is the onus not... Therefore, on you? Oh. <sighs> Heal, pup. You're still playing the Pontus loyal hound, I see. Mm. Now, if you'll excuse me, I still have other matters to look into. To the library with us, Crick. I don't care, deputy. Why did you feel the need to provoke her, Temenos? Because she a bitch. I was merely pointing out the facts. That's what I do. By lying? You said you didn't notice anything at the cathedral. Damn right. <laughs> I'd like to say that was born of simple expedience. They may be your compatriots, Crick, but they are not to be trusted. So, did you do as I asked? I did. Well, I asked everyone who would have been in the cathedral that night. But not a soul saw anyone suspicious. Hmm. Which begs the question of how the Sacred Guard found out. Temenos? 
Wait, that's the book of scripture we found at the cathedral. Yep. Lower your voice, Crick. This was a parting gift from the pontiff. We cannot be shouting about it from the rooftops. Is it of any significance? Hmm. It looks like any other book. Oh. What have we here? There's a note between the pages. And soon, night shall fall. What does it mean? I've not a clue. But it's clearly of grave importance. Ah, if it isn't the sacred guard, do you still have need of us? Crick, you've been reassigned. Understood. You'll be informed of the location later. Pack your belongings. I've no need of you, Hound. You're just jealous that I'm better than you. Reassigned as quickly as you were recruited. It was a short and beautiful friendship, Crick. It was hardly budding, Temenos. <clears throat> I, I can see you, my bestie. I see you won't be taken in. We weren't in each other's company long. But I believe I see what His Holiness saw in you. Why you were chosen. You're damn right, I'm awesome. It was an honor, Crick. What will you do now? I think I shall set off on a journey. A journey? Indeed. To find the one who murdered the Pontiff. I have a hunch, you see. And well, doubt is what I do. Take care of yourself, Temenos. You as well, Kirk. I must take my leave. <laughs> First, I must meet with Lucian, the theologian. The one who was with the Pontiff, and thus is now of great interest to me. His Holiness concerned himself with the movements of the heretics while alive. So an interrogation of Lucian may be in order. Hmm. Though I cannot help but wonder. The Pontiff left that note in the scripture. He knew his own death was nigh. And soon night shall fall. Hmm. I must divine the truth behind those words. Indeed you must. Temenos! Mint, my dear. the news that you're leaving the village forgive me for not saying farewell and this is to be a journey of healing I must mend my broken heart or so I'd like you to believe <laughs> tis impossible to know what goes on in that mind of yours but I know <laughs> you'll conduct yourself well I shall miss your orations of the history, Temenos. Farewell. And I shall miss your pretty face, sister. Farewell, Mint. Please, keep in touch. If you'd like, that is.
Temnos leaves the city determined to get to the bottom of the pontiff's murder, and soon night shall fall. The phrase found at the scene of the murder echoes in his head. It is his duty as Inquisitor to shine the light upon the murder of the pontiff, and the darknesses of the church and stuff. So I wonder, does everybody get that amount of EXP and job points? No. It's cool, though. <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> and so, another Chapter 1 complete. Four or five more Chapter 1s to go. Until next time, everybody. <laughs>